This is Pat's, uh, Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. So where we are is we are down in the Dwemer ruins beneath Markar, and I just got Jisargo a nice full dragon uh, outfit, and we are looking for the journals of Actually, this is not the exit that we wanted. We're looking for the journals of a past team that came down here uh, that was looking for stuff. So basically, we are looking for dead bodies. Okay, so this is a particularly dangerous place. Since if I remember correctly, that is not an inactive um, critter uh, up forward. It actually will activate if we get too near to it. Although I might be misremembering. Oh, and I have become overburdened again. So I'll have to get rid of something else. Falmer sword. Okay, that is definitely not something I want to have. And here is another corpse. A flute. Don't really need a flute. So where is the last journal? The last journal is somewhere to my left and up. Okay. I am kind of tempted to provoke that thing and then uh, back off and fight it, but I'm worried that Jazargo will be dumb enough to just charge at it and get killed by it. So I might have been willing to do that on my own. I'm not going. I'm not willing to do it with Jisargo uh, with me. Okay, so I am worried that there might be Dwemer around, or not Dwemer, uh, Falmer. So again, quick reminder: Dwemer are the people who build all this steampunk awesomeness. Falmer were their slaves who were um, poisoned and devolved into uh, semi-animal critters. that there are usually two ears that Falmer drop. If if you won't often find Falmer dropping only one ear. Oh, Chizak okay. I guess it's no longer on him. He had an arrow sticking right up out of his uh, well, out of his helmet, which might mean that it was sticking right out of his head, which is no good. I see two Falmer up there. This is kind of dangerous. I hope I am not tempting fate too much. Moving. And sweet. Okay. Nothing that interesting here. So here I am a little bit worried again that he is going to trigger that trap, so I'm going to just dash through just in case.
gold. Three hundred seventy-two out of three hundred seventy-five pounds. So yeah, we're definitely pushing the limits of what we can carry here. Although I will remind you that arrows do not weigh anything, so always pick up every arrow you can. There's no harm to it. We've gotten the last journal. Here's some more. Things to carry. 384 out of 375. So that is inconvenient. So I am actually going to ask Jusargo to carry all my staves. You found some thing. Jusargo only has so much room to carry things. Yes, but you are not carrying a lot right now. So. And actually, can give him a whole lot of this stuff. Okay. Follow them. So the current order of the day is to turn on the, uh, the Dwemer defenses. And actually, if we had bothered to read that book, it would have talked about how. The Falmer are coming close to, uh, whoa. So these are examples of the Dwemer defenses. So little robot critters. So we're going to here we are going to spend a little bit more on Magicka just because we're definitely finding a use for having more health right now. Can't do that yet. Can't do that yet. So we could improve... No, we can't do smithing. Uh, can't take any more smithing perks yet. We could improve blocking, which is kind of tempting. Or let's improve our one-handed uh, weapons. That is. Whoop. Oh, sorry. I think I accidentally hit hit Kizarga. Okay. Oh, but there's somebody else nearby. Probably up there. Anyhow. The Dwemer spiders are pretty awesome in the sense that when you loot them, they tend to have a lot of really pretty spiffy stuff on them. Soul gems, uh, uh, often uh, full. Some of the rare ores. Yeah, highly... Do not forget to loot when, uh, when facing these guys. Stay well lit. Okay, but unfortunately there is one of those dwarven spheres up ahead, and those are really irritating to deal with. Sword and shield. Okay, facing two at once is not a good situation. So, let's... Sorry, Jizargo. I, I hope you'll be okay for a second while I heal up. Whoa. Oh, did not mean to do that. Fortunately, I did not damage him. But, okay, where did they go? Oh, did he kill them both? He might have killed them both. That's cool. Thank you, Jisargo. 
And uh, so, Dwemer Cox, ordinarily, you actually want to uh, you do want to start collecting Dwemer Cox because there is a quest later on in the game where you're going to need ten of them. Unfortunately, they are very heavy. Okay, so we're here. Here's another Palmer Skulker that is dead. That is good. Unfortunately, I think the spheres pop out of some of these things, so we have to be a little bit nervous about getting near them. Okay, so, and here's a chest. Always happy to see what the game is going to give me. Sweet. Actually, a, a lovely set of enchantments here. What we are happy to know. The potion of healing. I uh, don't need a Falmer bow, although for a Falmer weapon, it's not that terrible. But it's by no means awesome. So Jisargo is in here with me. We're going to pull the lever. And uh, now we're going to head out. Now, having pulled the lever means that now this dungeon is going to be getting kind of full of uh, of the Dwemer defense, uh, like uh, robots. So we're going to have to be a little bit more careful than we were before. But okay, for now. Now we're actually right above where we entered this particular part of the dungeon, so we'll just drop down. Will he drop down with us? I hope so. Well, maybe he'll follow us. Followers do have this tendency to show up whenever you pop through a door. Aha! So up there you can see a Falmer fighting uh, one of these uh, robots. Oh, and one of these guys. Yeah, Dwarven Centurions are very nasty. They breathe steam at you. Oh, and he is coming right for us. That is not good. I hope that he will focus on Jisargo and not me, because they are brutal, and he could probably make short work of me. Okay, I'm going to just hop in here. Sweet. Fortunately, they tend to drop some pretty cool stuff. But yeah, they're not easy by any means. There's a Thelmer up ahead. Oh, and Jisargo actually summoned. You don't see them doing that a lot? Anyhow, this is a good time for looting, but we definitely want to be careful because we're now in what is truly a battle zone. On the other hand, Moonstone. Not that I'm easily distractible. Of course not. But yeah, I will need to pay attention to what is going on, because chances are there will either be Dwarven units or or Falmer up ahead. Possibly both. Looks like that's a Dwarven unit up there. And... Okay, and it is... Pull back into its ball shape, and it is rolling around looking for stuff. It is weakened by having fought a Falmer. Uh, 
and Jisargo took care of it. Groovy. So yeah, we've actually just about finished with this uh, with this area, which is good. For my first uh, venture into uh, Falmer, uh, Falmer territory, didn't go too badly, although I did end up using a heck of a lot of uh, of my healing potions, so it did not go swimmingly. And I also came pretty close to dying several times. Yeah. Okay, and yes, we are avoiding the heavy stuff, but we do want to collect the loot from that fighting. Others. Oh, Two more soul gems, and there is another Falmer down there. So although it is claimed in the game that Falmer means uh, snow in the elven language, I suspect that... Um, ooh, I am hearing a dwarven... a dwemer thing somewhere nearby. And I know that there is a Falmer down here, because I saw him running off. Whoa! At least I thought I saw a Falmer down here. Maybe I'm misremembering. Okay. Or maybe J uh, Jisargo killed him. Okay, well, I think I'm happy to declare victory in here and head out. So ordinarily, uh, in my past runs, I've had to make several uh, several trips because I picked up too much. I've been a little bit more disciplined this time and avoided picking up a lot of uh, Dwemer stuff. So I'm doing it in one trip. If I have to, I can uh, I can return and uh, actually make a special tr uh, trip for Dwemer stuff to melt down to make Dwemer metals. And actually, now that I think about it, I probably do want to get enough of this stuff to improve the gear that I've given Chisarko. So if I can manage that, that's a good thing. But I do not have the uh, carrying capacity to grab uh, a lot of stuff. And we're going to grab some iron here, too, which is going to take up some weight. So that did not quite manage to make us overburdened, which is good. Here are some more Dwemer things that we're going to just grab. But the Dwemer cogs are super heavy. I hear you found some thing. It's Jezargo only has so much room to carry things. So we will give him the three Dwemer cogs that we've, uh, that we've grabbed, which are 30 pounds. And we'll keep on heading up. Well, oh, more iron. Sweet. You'll notice uh, the game will t tell me that I'm picking up some uh, gemstones as I'm mining, or at least it occasionally will. And that is always a pleasant bonus from mining. Let's see. Heading on up. And here is some plate metal, which I believe I can melt down. So I can never remember which of the Dwemer um, stuff can actually be uh, melted down and which can't. Jazargo, where are you? You didn't run ahead of me, did you? Or he might not have managed to climb out of the pit. 
hope you did. So I'm actually going to overburden myself a little bit here. And I'm going to whirlwind sprint to the door here. Hopefully Jazargo will show up on the other side of the door with me. Because it would be a really lousy way to um, lose my companion just because he, as a fellow cat, can't manage to make it um, make it uh, out of a pit. So hopefully he'll be there with me. We'll find out. And if he is, then he can carry some of the heavy stuff I just grabbed. If he isn't, I will be kind of disappointed. So, hey, Jazarga, sweet. If up on us, I'll smell them coming. Or I might not. We will see. <laughs> so I've never heard his, uh, never heard uh, his dialogue um, for being a companion before, and it's pretty awesome. So the solid Dwemer uh, metal, that is the really heavy stuff. And As now we are not overburdened anymore. We will head down and first we'll, we'll disenchant everything that we can that needs, uh, that I haven't learned the enchantment of yet. Like this armor of restoration, helmet of archery, of health, ring of smithing. Now this, this can get to be pretty important, as can this. They're both really nice enchantments to get, uh, get up uh, to put onto items that you're going to use. And this puts us down at 330 pods. I have things to study. You have my breath. As promised, is the key to the Dwemer Museum. And we'll tell him about the uh, journals. I usually pay researchers for their work when they emerge from the ruins. But they Sweet. So we can sell any books that we don't need. And all these robes, which we already know the enchantments of. Now this time we're actually going to keep uh, our necklaces because we're getting pretty near the point where we get some benefit from uh, benefit from them, and that we'll be able to enchant them uh, soon. Are there any of these that we want? Not really. Which is a slight pity because he doesn't have a lot more gold to deal with. We'll, but we'll buy some soul gems, which will give him more stock for us to sell stuff we don't need. And we will take those uh, staves back from Jizargo. Jizargo only has so much room to get it. Fifteen and twenty-four. Uh, I guess we'll take that. Lead on, friend. And we'll talk with him again. I had you figured. And sell more of our unneeded stuff. Oh wait, what's there more than? Yeah, our staves. Can't tell everything, but that is good enough for now. And this is nice. Let's see what um, what soul gems do we have that are full? We have some lesser soul gems that are full with lesser souls. We have two grand souls. So grand is the strongest type of soul gem, and these are actually filled with grand souls. So. They would be great to use on stuff that we are going to use for us. But first, we are actually going to go and uh, visit the smith to 
melt down some of the uh, some of the Dwemer stuff that we got. And then we're going to improve any of the gear that we can. And the reason that uh, that we're going to do it is that right now we don't have the smithing perk that lets you um, lets you do smithing improvements to things that already have enchantments on them. So the order has to be at this point um, improve smart, uh, first and then enchant. Later on we'll have more flexibility. So in Markarth, the smith... Uh, there is a ore melting thingy over here that we are going to use. And So it's not super predictable. It's not super predictable whether when you do this, you're going to have. Uh, you're going to uh, gain weight or lose it, which is a little bit silly. Because it doesn't really make sense that you can get more uh, that you can get more uh, material out of something when you melt it down. But I just like to uh, pretend that um, that there are some additives needed to get uh, the minerals in an appropriate form. Ordinarily, there is a blacksmith here during the day at least, but there is not one right now and I'm going to steal all this metal and a metal smith and okay so now we will talk with Jizargo and take that armor temporarily back from him So he is back to his normal, uh, normal gear, and then we're going to improve all this stuff. So, Jazargo was using. Oh well, we might switch ourselves to to this Elven sword. It does twenty two damage right now, and what does our current sword do? Current sword does also twenty two damage. Okay, well, we can improve our blade sword to 27, whereas we can improve our elven sword to, uh, to 24. Okay, we're going to stick with our, our uh, blade sword, but we will definitely improve it. But Juzargo is going to use this uh, elven sword now. I might as well improve my bow while I'm here. So, Jizargo, you should take this. Oops, I did not mean to take that. The squeaky uh, bat from him. Anyhow, uh, he can have the fine elven sword. And actually, I will take uh, the squeaky stuff back from him. He doesn't need it. So, he has... And uh, before we uh, improve any of the uh, the other weapons, we're going to make sure that we uh, we've exhausted all the improvements that we can do to the stuff that's actually going to go on one of our bodies. And that is looking good. So we can give Jizargo back the gear. You are taking us somewhere warm. So, he gets back all this slightly improved uh, dwarven stuff, and I am back under the, the limit for, uh, for my endurance. 
And now I can go back to just doing random improvement. Like we can improve this Dwarven Sword, but we're improving it just to uh, later enchant it and then to sell it. Oh yeah, we're gonna improve any armor that we're wearing, which I don't think we can actually improve any armor that we're wearing. Uh, we'll improve this helmet, and this helmet. Now we're going to see if we can do any high value crafting, by which I mean crafting of items that happen to have a, a really uh, nice value. So we do have some gold, but uh, gold necklaces and rings, they actually require uh, a different set of gems than uh, silver. So we can't do anything with that, but we can make some uh, silver uh, stuff. And that used up all our silver. And we are not going to use our gold just to make unjeweled uh, stuff there. So we can, we have run out of steel. So we're not doing anything more with steel. We will make some leather armor. And now we're out of leather. Oh, actually there was a, um, I thought there was a, one of those benches to cut leather. A tanning bench? There it is. Tanning rack. So we will do that. Now we can actually improve that leather armor. And we will keep on making it. So again, we don't want to go totally crazy with this because we don't have the uh, permanent buff yet that um, that gives you a boost for uh, a boost in experience that you get from smithing. But we do want to uh, just burn some of the uh, inventory that we have uh, to reduce uh, to reduce its weight. So practically, what this means is that we're going to try and use up everything we have, but we're not going to go out and actually try and buy um, buy more raw materials. Once we uh, once we have that buff, we're going to just go crazy and buy as much as we can to try and uh, level smithing up uh, pretty quickly. Because the nicer armor that you have, the easier you'll find uh, surviving uh, the tougher dungeons. So, see, what was... I thought there was a way back into... Well... No. Okay. So we have to head back up the main entrance. Uh, this was the way. Back the main entrance to where we just were to try and uh, enchant some of this stuff before we actually sell it. Also, one of the things, one of the new things I'm doing with uh, with the Let's Play now. Apart from having figured out the video production stuff, um, I'm now, uh, I now keep another laptop near the, uh, the gaming PC that I'm playing this on that has a timer running so that I can uh, keep track of how long the video is. So I'm going to generally try to uh, have video lengths of somewhere around 45 minutes um, in the future. Or at least I'm going to set it, uh, set the timer to 45 minutes, I help him the and uh, that will hopefully. Um, Don't let my uncle go on about his theories. He'll be here all night. Let's see, 387, 419, 651. Turn on dead is still the best enchantment that we can put on weapons. Okay, I am fine with that.
If only we were actually getting prices like these when selling this stuff. Um, so, am I wearing these? I might be wearing these. Um, But do I have any enchantments yet to put on boots? No, I don't. Okay, not so uh, useful then. Here's a hide helmet. Lesser soul gem. 106 was fortify restoration. 115, 152. So fortify archery is actually the best thing that we can put on helmets right now. And... Yeah, so basically, we just want to make this stuff as nice as possible before we sell it. To get the best prices and to get as much experience as we can for, uh, for enchanting. To 211 for pure fortified destruction. Okay, so it looks like fortified destruction is the highest value enchantment for uh, armor for, uh, that we can manage right now. So, we will put that on all of our armor before we sell it. Here's a light helmet, lesser soul gem, fortify archery. Another uh, Imperial Helmet. Seventy, seventy-seven, ninety-four. So eventually, yeah, when, when we get serious about um, about leveling smithing, then we're actually going to make a special uh, set of gear that we will use for um, for smithing, but we're not yet uh, going to get that serious. And uh, so I think that's it. So we're now ready to go and start selling stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back outside. And we're going to actually head back to Riften. Because we're done uh, here for now. You notice we're now just shy of level uh, 23. So we're progressing pretty nicely. Generally by the end of the game, most people will be around level 50, 55. Okay, Riften is all the way on the other side of the world. So apparently you can't rotate maps all the way around, which is pretty sensible because there's not that much interesting on the back side of a map. Where are these vampires coming from? We need to wipe them out before things get worse. No, I think we actually had s some frost salts to give uh, someone who's normally here. She gave us a spell book, which might be useful. Maybe. Oh, and actually, did we hand her a pamphlet yet? Not yet. Did we hand him? Oh, interesting. 
I'll read it this evening. And we will talk to Balamend. Thank you for the blessing. Oh, we've already given them this, but apparently they've forgotten it. So we're giving it back to them, which is kind of cool. Let's sell anything that we've already... So yeah, this Dwarven Sword, we don't need it. Sell this axe. And... Uh... Oh, well, let's pick a level up bonus. We'll do Magicka now. And... Uh... See, actually... Can we take the next speech benefit yet? Because if we could, that would be really useful. Yeah. And this will improve selling prices further yet. What brings you to Balaman to Which blades, means helmets, more wealth. Anything to suit your needs. And we will keep selling stuff. So iron arrows still don't sell for anything. Eventually we'll reach the point where they do. Thirteen, fourteen, okay. And what we're actually going to do at this point is train five times with them. It's still cheap because our smithing skill is not that amazing at this point. The finest weapons and armor. But it gives him a little bit more money to barter with. Which is handy. Do we have anything more that we need to sell? It looks like nothing that he will take. I think the gold hide didn't actually turn into leather, so we might as well t sell that. Um, so the Dwemer uh, Hero, well, uh, Gyro. I thought that might have been used for a quest, but I don't remember what quest it was. Might as well just sell it. And the Dwarven Metal Ingots, we don't need them anymore. And they weigh a lot, so we'll sell it. And the gear didn't melt down. So, cool. So what are we down to? We're at 200 out of 3. We have an Alembic. Yeah, so most of our big uh, weight at this point is just random ores. Oh, we don't need this bowl. We do have some scrolls that we don't need. If anything, please take a look. So yeah, we could sell our necklaces. Safe travels. I'm gonna keep it. Interesting. Oh yeah, so let's see if we can hand out the rest of these uh, these pamphlets. Yeah, because I didn't say anything. I think they're actually sweet on each other. And maybe there's something in here that we need to do. And we're getting near the 45 minute mark. So... Welcome to the B and Bar. Interesting. I'll look it over. Next. What is it with you and all these questions? I have other things to well. Ask away. What can I get you? Look, the only religion I believe in is the good old Septimus. And we'll see uh, if we can get any more quests. Pushing Sibby Blackbriar is if Maven Blackbriar keeps Rifton's biggest 
Ripton's biggest exploits. Okay. A lot of the time, you end up getting some uh, some quests if you do that, but maybe not here. So I will see if I can see if I can get rid of the rest of these um, religious pamphlets. I have one, uh, Jizarga. He is the. You in town, eh? Thank you. Blessings of Mara upon you as well. Sweet. So those are all twenty handed out. Let's head up here and see what the uh, what the Temple of Mara can do for us. I get a potion. Not that, not that impressive. Oh well. So, that is uh, the end of this um, this let's play of Skyrim. I will see you in the next video. Uh, oh, by end I mean the end of this episode, not the end of the uh, the series. So, this has been Pat Dunn.